facts, okay? No, we listen. Ain't nobody faster than a bullet, bro. I mean, well, let's just say ain't nobody really that fast out here like that, right? We ain't got those powers types yet, all right? So we're going to see him get exposed and see how he, you know what I'm saying, some other, I guess, expert guy exposes him. But we finna see, man. We finna see what's, what's going on with this guy, man. I'm going to show you right now what to do. If a striker fired weapon is pinning against your chest, against the wall, striker fires a hammer in the back. So the first thing I do is he can't move out of the way, he can't move up line. And if I try to move this, as soon as he saw my hand move, he's gonna fire. So we have to make this weapon not fire. And give an example of human reaction time. When he sees me move, he's gonna fire. So the reason why it didn't move, the slide didn't slide, is because I inhibited it by pushing it to the rear. From that, from there, what we do is push the barrel back towards the aggressor, and now you have the weapon, and if you want to shoot. Then you just pin them down to the ground using their finger and take them under control. Hey guys, how are you? I'm going to show you why this technique is dangerous and useless. Okay? Three big mistakes. First of all, the hands of the instructor are done like this. Okay? And he's thinking that he's faster than the trigger. Okay? You are not faster than the trigger. And I'm going to. Thanks! He's going to shoot me if I move, okay? I want, I'm going to put my hands here. I'm going to try to create the malfunction, pulling the slide back. Let's see, okay? Okay, again. No, it's not possible, okay? Maybe at the same time, okay. Dang. I, you get so, exposed. It's like, you know, the, the, the shot is there in the middle, in the center mass. Okay. You're dead. That is big mistake number one. Thinking that you are faster than the trigger. Okay? Facts. The biomechanics. The trigger is always faster. The trigger finger. Okay. Are you just, yes. Okay. And the biomechanics of the technique of grabbing a gun and to divert the gun or to do this this thing is it's a complete movement of my arm. I see what he's saying because if I mean hand, like who's really that fast though? The distance between my hand and the gun is is, is too large. Okay. So I need to compensate the the trigger thing. Okay. Right. Now, I need to maintain my hands really close to the weapon with a certain body language and verbal, verbalization, okay? Mm. Just, please don't hurt me, don't shoot me, please. Okay? That is what you need to do. Okay. Not, your, not, not your hands like this, or here, or here, or here, okay? Second big mistake, okay? He's saying that if you pull the side, you create a malfun malfunction of the gun, which is true. You can shoot. He did say that. Okay. But the main problem is not this. Okay. The main problem here is the reaction of the attacker. Okay. When you uh, grab the pistol, like whatever you want to do it, the attacker will react. And the first reaction, and I'm saying this with evidence, okay, is to pull, pull back, ah. space, okay, to, to free the gun of the other guy's hand, okay? So, if I do this, let's say I am fast enough to, to do this, and the attacker doesn't shoot me first, okay, and the gun is like this. He or she, the attacker, will pull the gun. If if she pulls the gun, the slide is again, again, in a correct position. Damn, bro. My man's getting exposed out here. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, my God, bro. They really exposing this man out here. It's really bad, bro. I'm going to end that right there because I want to see another clip, bro. It's, it, it's really bad out here, bro. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Hold on, guys. I got y'all. He's, yo, he stay getting exposed. Like, oh, my God, bro. Oh, wow. This is him 10 years ago. What? 
Oh, he's been doing this for a minute though. Like, nah, I worked, I worked for Dust. What? You know what I'm doing? He said, I work for Dust. What the hell? It's urban survival training. Do you know how to defend yourself against a strike? No, no, no. No, 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 no. Hold on. Hold on, chat. Hold on. We're about to, we're about to look at it exposed. Uh, now, nah, where's that clip? Oh, here it go, right here. <laughs> nah, he shot it. He shot him like three or four times, bro. Hold on, if y'all missed that, though, hold on. I think y'all missed that. Hold on, I'm about to do it again, bro. Let's need to add the Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What? That was a weird video. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm trying to find a good one, though. Yeah, I'm trying to find a good one. Uh, unless you've been living under a rock, I think we all know who the urban survival tactic guy is. Yeah, this guy's been kind of been blasted everywhere on social media. Facts. Especially on TikTok and YouTube, that's where I've seen it the most. And I'm going to tell you right now, bro, this guy is a complete living joke. Like, this guy really should not be fucking He really should not. anybody about survival tactics. Because it's all fake. I mean, I know for a fact that there are real disarms and maybe there's some little truth to what he's doing. Maybe. There's like a slim chance that he actually knows what he's doing. But besides that, bro, all of it is just like one big joke and just one big money scheme just to get money out of the consumers and the viewers that be watching and endorsing this. Like, it's a joke. But today, the day has come. I was scrolling through TikTok and I saw the exposed video. This guy really got exposed that his tactics do not work. And this guy was literally like a baby. Reaching for his baby bottle, like this guy really got exposed. Let's play the clip. All right, now here we have some. We have a young Asian gentleman here holding a fake. What yeah, he's like about to get exposed. Gun. I don't know what it is. Maybe CO two. I don't fucking know. I am not one of those fake airsoft players. Airsoft is a terrible sport, just for a bunch of military looking dudes. But besides that, military want to be looking dudes specifically. Besides that, we hear we look at Pope. We have him fleshed out in this perfect environment. We have him teaching women, teaching, and he got Bob over there in the corner with the shirt <laughs> on. Like we have him there in his peak, peak performance. And we're gonna- oh, this guy's getting exposed. Oh my God! Wow! Y'all saw that? Bro got shot like four or five times, bro. Handing your badge, bro, it's over, bro. It's over. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Oh, my God. He just like that. He just like that, bro. He just got... He got shot. He was trying to get the gun. The agent, dude, if you're smart, you're going to pull away. You're going to still shoot. He got shot, but no. It, that, was, that was not part of the drill. Hold on, chat. Hold on, chat. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, I think he explained it, right? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Exposed response. All right, so we gonna look at the a response video for him. He responded to this. with the dumbest techniques in all of martial arts. Detroit comes out training. Right now, we want to address, as recently released, Five rule video. And this video is so silly. This individual came to our school uh, separately with another person. They're both jujitsu students. One was honest and said he was, and the other one acted like he wasn't, said he was an engineer. And he was very uh, 
uh, timid and has never studied martial arts before. And I have no idea why he does that because nine out of 10 people that come to our facility are either an instructor from another martial art, or a competitor, or have taken martial arts. They love our training. So anyway, the other individual was, was honest. Uh, he did resist some, and he found out that that does not work out well without getting hurt. But this individual tried to resist right before his gun disarm, and his whimpering uh, and holding his wrist uh, showed me that you know he Bro, you got was shot. susceptible to pain and a high degree of, of discomfort from a very simple technique. It was a Z lock. I was not trying to hurt him. I was trying to simply train him, and he tried to resist. So the technique only hurt because he resisted when there's no need to resist. You can just feel the discomfort and go with it. Uh, so he, you know, took it personal apparently. And I uh, got up and was complaining about the pain in his wrist. He's, you know, hurt and everything. And I thought, well, you know, let's take it easy. So let's switch to gun to arms, back to gun to arms. We'd already been doing gun to arms. So he already knows what we're going to do. But he's already been watching the videos before he came here anyway. And what's interesting is, instead of focusing on shooting uh, as a violent criminal would do, he focuses on limp wristing and running away as I go to disarm the weapon. And when I came to disarm the weapon, because uh, we have a room full of students in the background, which includes children, uh, we did not want to rush forward uh, because, number one, we could actually hit people in the room, but also this individual was just complaining about being hurt. So I was trying to be nice to him. So I was going to show just the gun disarm, not what we do in real life in a situation, uh, which is to go forward always. We always attack our attacker. And so in this case, I stayed still, which you can see in the video, did not move forward. And when I reached up, he took advantage of the fact that I didn't go forward and snatched it back. And then he starts shooting. It's off to the side as well. First round wasn't even close to me. Uh, but the most important thing is this. To remember that it doesn't matter if you do get shot. But what? <laughs> Repeat that, sir? No, 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 no. We're not going to skip past that. That it doesn't matter if you do get shot. What matters is that you drive on, that you fight to survive, that you stay in the fight. You can't just give up your life just because someone shot you. I... What in the world is this man talking about? I have no idea. Did he, did he just say that? It don't matter if you get shot. Just keep on fighting. But what he does understand is that if you're blowing your brains out, it don't matter. For the second end of that demo, you can actually make it look like he was victorious when, in fact, he lost that gun and he was taken down. So that's what's really going to happen in a situation where you have to defend your life. I'm not following you, you here, sir. Attacker, you have to take the weapon. And if they're just going to take something from you, simply give it to them. You don't have to take uh, the gun from them if they're not going to kill you with the gun. And it's up to you to decide. Bro, this is not that scenario. What are you talking about? You're the one that makes decisions. Violent criminals should never decide anything for you or your family. You should be the one armed with intelligent options. This guy's good, man. This guy's good, man. Yo, how many of y'all... Hold on a second. How many of y'all hiring him? How many of y'all are hiring him for defense? How many? Listen, bro. Y'all know what time it is, man. It's your boy Prince Riley, and I'm out. Peace.